We have a critical situation brewing here. In terms of this trade war, it is now affecting the ports. And this trade war shock is hitting the U.S. container ports, specifically in California. And it's hitting them big time. As you can see here, the port of Long Beach, the port of Los Angeles. You can see all the stuff that they have listed here in terms of the terminals, how many areas do business daily here, seeing imports and exports. And right now they're saying that these are known to be the two busiest container ports in the United States and that they have seen a dip. Now here's the thing. They're saying that their warehouses are busting at the seams. That because of this whole thing popping off with the trade war, what they started to do while things were cheap and before more tariffs went into place is they stocked up in mass. So this means that the warehouses in California all over the place with these goods are filled. They have nowhere to put anything else. Everything is catching up now. And they're saying at this point, now everything's going to start to slow down from here on out because they can simply not store anything anywhere else, which means they're not going to be purchasing or bringing anything in. So it's going to mean that the ports are going to slow down. This overall is going to affect the economy. It's not just this area that is affected neither. We have seen many different sectors affected by this. Farming has been a huge one. The farmers are highly upset. The Trump administration wants to just keep cutting a check and throwing it at them. And they're like, no, we don't want a government bailout. We want to be able to do business like we've always been able to, not have to depend on the government. And that's what they've walked them into doing, if you're paying attention. Now, a few other things that have been affected, obviously, here in this whole thing are hits taken in the areas of trucking, railroads, warehousing, construction, manufacturing, and as I said before, farming. And as they're stating here, this is setting everything up to likely usher in the next recession in 2020. This is some of the latest in what they're saying here in terms of all this, the numbers, what the ports are looking looking like here, uh, the business, the flow in and out, and that they're busting at the seams and things are not looking good from here on out in terms of this. I'll leave a link below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. Also, follow me over here on DLive for exclusive content. There are links in the description box. Much love, y'all.